So right now, this has 1,197 meters per second of vacuum delta V. If I can get this thing down to the surface of the moon, it should be able to uh, get itself back to Kerbin without too much difficulty, but I need to still get it to the surface of the moon. And I think the simplest model for doing that is simply to build another stage that um, you will discard just before you land. I think that's the simplest of the models when it comes to building moon. I'm just looking at my, de there we go, that's what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for a decoupler to put under there. And I guess I'm gonna also need a fairing. Uh, I do have 1.875 meter fairings. We won't build, we'll build a fairing in just a little bit. And now what I wanna do is start adding on fuel cans and I'm thinking I kind of want to go bigger because I do have, let's go under engines, I do have the Poodle uh, liquid fuel engine which is a great larger orbital engine. I want to make use of that for this thing. So let's see, oh wait, I want to go to fuel cans. That's what I want to do. Uh, and arrange them with the big masses on the bottom. Bugs me the other way around. And I do have, I think this is my only, 0.25 meter tank. Do I have a transition? I hope I do. I must have some sort of transition piece between these two. Let's go to here. We're, oh, not that one. This one where we can look at 2.5 meter parts. Uh, oh, it's a big tank adapter. Yeah, there we go. Don't know why that was and a poodle engine on the bottom and let's see what that kind of gives us so there we go there and i'm looking for a total delta v of 2800 meters per second that should be able to get me comfortably from low curb in orbit and then back again and i'm at 3000 this is way too much <laughs> way too much too much is too, is fine. There we go. 2,940 meters per second. That's uh, 140 meters per second more than what I need. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm going to play with textures once again because it's important for this thing to look good. Why not? And then we'll build this fairing. And then what we got to do is build an orbiter. And I am pretty sure... This is gonna to have to be my largest orbiter to date. And although I do have the, uh, you know what? No, let's, we're gonna do this different. Why not just, sorry, that, like that, and then close it off here. Can I close this? Close, 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 close. I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, there. I'll save us some some space. Oh, and this thing's gonna need an escape system too. We're gonna put this guy on the it, oh, it disappeared. Where did it go? <laughs> what are you doing to me? There. Okay, well, I don't know why it's being that way. There we go. We'll put an escape system. How's that look? Gots to have an escape system. Um, while I'm thinking about it, let's set up that escape system. So on the abort action group, we are going to need to activate that engine. And we are going to need to decouple that and probably deploy the fairing at the same time. In fact, while I'm thinking about that, let's take the fairing out of our staging. Okay, and we'll we'll fix the rest of this staging. And well, actually, let's fix what we got. That's that. That makes that makes sense. There we go. So I I, I brought my delta v down with that trick, but that's only because of all this mass that we will be we will be losing. Actually, hang hang on a second. You know what I want to do? Because I think I don't need to look at that. I got it here, an engineer. I think I want to add some more fuel. I would love to add, shoot, I gotta delete this, sorry. Take that off for now. I wanna add about another thousand meters of, I'm just thinking, where is that? This one? 
I know I said 2800 but I'd love to add just a little bit more to this take advantage of this nice big poodle engine we have here on the bottom even more and use this for the upper part of our ascent as well I can add more that feels good Delta V is good uh, I like it I like it I like it textures we'll just put all these on the brown that is really where I'm limited oh shoot I just see what I got here I got this tank why don't I make advantage of that So now I'm actually looking for around 3,800 meters per second. Let's put that one back. Beautiful. Okay. And then that way this can also take care of the upper stage. It makes I think it makes it more efficient. Then you don't need an upper stage on this thing. Okay, let's build that fairing back. And then we got to build ourselves that booster. And I was saying, although I am doing pretty well, let me close, close. Although I'm doing pretty well when uh, with engines, I am sort of starving for tanks. I, I'm especially in the 2.5 meter variety, so. Well, let's see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to build something. There's no way any of my previous lifters can do the job here. So, let's get a decoupler. And I think, unfortunately, pretty sure. Yeah, my biggest decoupler is still a 1.875 meter decoupler. I don't have 2.5 meter decoupler, so... I think I'm just gonna have to live with that little that little gap. I don't have 2.5 meter fairings either, do I? No, I do not. So okay. Um yeah, hopefully that gap. Oh, it's gonna bug me, but that's life. Okay, where are my this is my only bigger 2.5 meter. So what I want to do is put a bunch of these down see what I can get pushing with my largest engine which is the skipper engine there and that is not a particularly monstrous thrust of weight I want to get let me think about um Another 30. I'd love this to get up to about 6,000 meters per second of delta V for the total. Let's take one of these off. More looking at this thrust away. 0.91. Oh, give it a go. It's not a lot. Okay. I'm going to have to do some fancy dancy staging here. Actually, I got a better idea. I have a better idea. I know what I'm going to do. play with this for now let's just attach some more engines on the side the other thing I'm really lacking for because what I'd love to do here I'll show you what I'd love to do I'd love to just do like you know that kind of thing I mean that's gonna lift a lot um, and then you got three engines down there on the bottom my problem is under aerodynamics that my biggest nose cone is this <laughs> so I think I'm kinda stuck with uh let's go to my 1.25 meter tanks i want to see it's going to be a little challenging but i'm pretty sure i can do that if i do that and then stick some reliant engines on the bottom of it how much thrust and put these all on the same stage uh where are we here that's 2.09 and about 1700 meters per second I think that is okay 
and then some nose cones just to kind of pretend that's finished off. And then we'll get into some sort of asparagus -y type of staging. Now what was I shooting for? About 6,000 meters per second. We'll definitely be testing this. So here's my thoughts. Here's my thoughts. Get this decoupler. I got this on two-way symmetry, so there's one on the other side. We're going to get another one of these. Do that for now and then just slide this up, silly. Actually, I'm going to slide this down a little bit and then grab this and slide this up just to kind of match the other one. We'll do our best to make this look good too. And then I'm going to take another one of these. This is going to be one homely rocket, I tells you. I'm not getting my... There. That. Oh, there. And we'll have all of our engines at the beginning. Let's put all these engines on the same stage. You're going to do some asparum, I guess, this, 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 this thing. Okay. And whose stage is this one? That is... That one. This will make sense in a bit. And that is that one. That should give us plenty of thrust at the bottom end, even in the, yep, even if I go to Atmo for takeoff. And now let's see if we can improve our delta V. Our delta V is 5,819. And what I want to see is I now do have fuel lines, the external fuel duct. This is going to be, I think, gone first. Let me make sure of that. Yep. So I want this tank to feed into this tank. And then I want this tank to feed into this tank. And these tanks in the middle are already connected. Now I'm at 6,000 meters per second at delta V. Plenty of thrust. So if I put on, just to sort of show people what the story is, if you've never done, this is the first time in this thing I've done this kind of asparagus staging. I put on the fuel delivery, oh my god, my head hurts now already. But the important thing to notice, this is showing where the fuel is coming from for this engine. But if you notice the numbers, the 30s here, the 40s here, and the 50s here, the higher numbers get drained first. So what's going to be happening is although this engine and the other engines beside it are being fed, are, are, are going to launch, are going to go at launch, all those engines are all going to come off of this tank, that's P50, priority 50, and this tank, which is priority 50. Then when these tanks are dry, we're going to stage them, get rid of those, and then we're going to go on to priority 40, these tanks. That's what the fuel lines are doing for me. You can actually see the arrow, the fuel flowing through these fuel lines. And then when then all the engines are going to run off of these tanks, then we'll stage those tanks, and then it's going to be these last three engines to do the rest of it. And it's just a nice way of using... Let's turn this off. There. It's a nice way of getting the most out of all your engines all the way up through your ascent. Um... And hopefully, it will work. Ah, oh, you notice that Val is back in the roster, but although she's here, she cannot, she's still officially not on duty. <laughs> not allowed to use Val yet. Okay, uh, what else, what else, what else should be? Where's the center of mass of this monstrosity? Right there. What do I, under payload, do I have a nothing in the 2.5 meter variety everything's yeah that stinks I should get some reaction wheels in here somewhere but I don't want to increase the size of that gap I got a feeling this thing might be an adventure where 
are my largest? The advanced inline reaction, I think. Yeah, those are the 1.25 meter ones. Oh, let me, okay, let, let's, let's see how it goes without additional reaction wheels for now. So, we have that, 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 that. I got me a feeling. Where's the center of mass and center? Oh, center lift is virtually non-existent. I got me a feeling I'm going to need some. Some additional control. I hate when they don't go where they're supposed to go. There. And there. We'll turn the authority limiter down. I always find these things are way too twitchy. To six, I think I had that at. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Yes. Get rid of the checklist for now. Okay, hopefully that will make that okay. I'm nervous about this thing. I, I, I don't think without reason either. I'm gonna stick, because I'm limited as to where to put them, but I'm gonna stick an additional set of reaction wheels right there. Now I gotta build this fairing again. Just for additional flight stability. We'll definitely be testing this before we really. Come on, close. You want to close. I saw it there. Okay. Ejection force up a bit. Clamshell deploy. Okay. This thing is a beast. Okay, um, let's start going through our checklist. Are asparagus staging better than cheap boosters? That's a very, very good question that Coyote is asking. Um, I'm going to use it because I can. I could, like I do have some pretty, like, monstrous SRBs. I, I'm not a huge fan of how early you get these. <laughs> like, these are ridiculous. I probably could have put those on. Oh, well, whatever. We're, we're going to go with what I got. I've committed myself to this. And hopefully it isn't a mistake. Okay, fine print in the contracts. Control. Hopefully I've configured the cabin. We've taken care of food, water, and oxygen. Waste doesn't matter. Radiation doesn't... Well, it does matter, but we'll deal... Science. Science is on there. Power generation has been taken care of. Electrical storage has been taken care of. Antennas have been taken care of. These were all taken care of last time. Propulsion. RCS, it won't have it. Parachutes are on there. Thermal protection. Lights. Lots of lights up top. Upgrades. Um, that's a very, very good question. I stuck a poodle engine in here somewhere. Where is that? Right here. It has 14, I think that should be okay. And how about this Terrier? This Terrier needs to work. It has a high priority, yes. Oh, okay, that's cool. Cargo I've taken care of. Thrust awaits, we'll have to tweak that. Let's do that right now. Okay. So this upper stage thrust weight of 2.08, I'm okay with. Let's tweak down these other thrust weights. So the these ones need to be tweaked down to bring down this 2.43 I want to get that more I don't know 1.9 ish that's a lot something like that and then finally we want to tweak this launch thrust down to about 1.33 and I'm gonna do that using these engines these engines actually are gonna have very little thrust in them they might not okay interesting uh, I almost, I think those engines are unnecessary. <laughs> All right. I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not putting engines there. I was turning the thrust down. I was still getting an adequate launch thrust. So why don't I make these instead of, um, engines 
turn them into oh those are big we'll put another roundy fuel thing turn them into drop tanks that they're going to be dropped i'm realizing as well i'm not being smart in how i'm putting these fins on so i'm putting them on stages that are going to get dropped so i'm going to put that there is there one on the other side no of course not there and I'm going to put this one here. That means I'm going to need to move this fuel line. I can just move it up. Also, now I realize like these tanks are going to get dropped here. So we've changed these now to drop tanks instead of. This is dorky. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, now I got to turn down this thrust to get the launch thrust down to 1.33. Ah, oh, but now I don't have enough thrust. You know what? I don't think this is going to work. Okay. I know what I got to do. Fortunately, I can't turn this down so much because then I lose thrust in the upper atmosphere. This is the goofiest thing ever. What is that middle thrust like now? 1.75, 2.06. Maybe I can turn these down. These might be higher than they need to be. Turn these ones up. Oh my gosh, I'm eager to see this thing fly because I have my doubts. I have, I have serious doubts on how this is going to fly. Okay, let's put on some launch clamps. There. There. I have serious doubts about this thing. Okay, we're going to have to do some serious fixing here. Oh, you know what I could just do? Oh my gosh. I was really being dopey. Why do I have... All I need to do, sorry. I know I'm... I was playing with these... This stupid to turn these thrusts down so low. Um, all I need here is to not have all the engines on at the beginning. I'm not sure why I... Now I'm looking at it. Why, why, why? That's not even necessary. Why not have these engines don't come on until we do this staging way up here this is way making what much more sense sorry i'm still i'm i'm playing again now i can get more work out of these engines this is full yep yeah. these are full that's full that's full i'm 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 really being and then these ones here. No, these are going to have to come down to here. Oh, these aren't full. Silly. Now they're all full. Okay. Now we turn these ones down. And now we can turn these ones up. Sorry, I didn't need all those engines on the bottom. Now things are looking sensible. Okay. Sorry, that took more time than it should. Save that. Poof. 
Okay, let's check staging again. So there, 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 that, 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 that. Okay, uh, let's do action groups. Uh, the fairing comes off at five along with decoupling the escape tower and toggling that engine. At zero, we're gonna put on our lights. This is when we're in space and there should be a communitron in here somewhere. There it is. That communitron will be extended. Also, under lights, now that I'm thinking about it, these guys, the Illuminator Mark 1s, I don't want them coming on with the rest of the lights. Instead, I want them connected to the gear action group. There we go. They are there. Okay. And then that way they come on when we extend the landing gear when we're ready to land. Oh, my golly golly. I'm seeing Rob DeVos saying, what are the burn times? That's a good question. This one will burn for 5 minutes and 50 seconds, and it's burning from launch right up to the end. I might want to... Uh, we'll, we'll test this. Um, because some of these engines are going to be burning for a long time. Thank you, Rob. You're absolutely right. I'm particularly concerned, especially with the middle one, which is going to be fired right at the beginning and right through the whole launch. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this. We're gonna put it into a simulator. Did that? Did that? Check the staging. Okay. We're gonna simulate this and see how she flies. He says, very, very, very dubiously. <laughs>